In the last video, I showed you how to, we grabbed this data from a data set which had some issues with merged cells. Now we've got this data sort of slightly cleaner uh, separately in a spreadsheet, there are some things we need to work on still. I've just tidied up the titles since last time, but you can see that there is some missing data still. The Afghanistan data does not give me a percentage employment for agriculture, for example, and it marks that by a double dot. Um, it's just a text field, it's not a blank cell like that one is, it's not a zero, uh, it's a it way of the data set telling me that uh, there was no data recorded there, it's not a zero. Some uh, countries do have both bits of data, and these are the countries I could use in a scatter diagram maybe, but uh, I can't use that one because I don't know where to plot a point for Antigua and Barbuda. So uh, I've got to clean up this data. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to clean up this data quickly, but I will in the following videos show you what happens if you forget to clean up the data or you don't notice the data isn't cleaned or you just don't want to bother. What does Excel and GeoGebra do when you try and plot graphs with those uh, those missing data in, in various situations? First of all though, let's clean it up. Now what you could do is run through the, uh, the rows here and delete the ones that have not got both bits of data because we can't use them. So I could select uh, that lot for example, right click on the rows and say delete and those rows have gone, uh, but you can see this could take me a long time and frankly all of us are lazy enough to not want to do this sort of thing. So I'm just going to undo that with Control Z and I'll show you a quick way to clean up a data set, particularly if it's been well labelled and you know that all missing data would have been marked as a double dot. So I'm going to select the data I'm interested in, which is these three columns. Actually, I could just select everything. Um, but anyway, I'm going to select these three columns of data and I'm going to use the filter command, which is up on the home tab over on the right here, sort and filter, you may have seen it in some other videos, I'm going to click on filter and it doesn't do anything much at first other than add these little drop down menus for each uh, column. Um, it's important you have a sort of title row for these columns, otherwise it doesn't know, that these are the ones that are not going to get filtered. But these little drop downs mean you can see what's in the columns and um, in this case if I click on the drop down it says I can sort things, I can sort it by colour and it's got little tick boxes for all the sorts of data that turn up in that column. In particular, um, it's got an entry for blanks. I don't think there should be any blanks, um, but there are also entries for these double dots. So what I could do is deselect by clicking on that tick box to get rid of it. Deselect, select to filter out all the ones with a double dot. And if I do that, you can see that suddenly I've got a much healthier looking data set. Um, you can see there's a gap from one to nine there, which is those first sort of seven rows in between there seems to have been filtered out because they didn't have those things. But I still have some missing data in the other column. So I need to do the same filtering technique on this one. If I click on the drop down menu, scroll down to find the bits I want to filter out, untick them, and that's done a bit more filtering. And you can see because these numbers have gone blue and they don't always go up in sequence, you can see when data has been missed out. But at least I can now see I've got a whole raft of data which I've got both values for. And if I scroll down to do a quick manual check, it looks pretty healthy. Now there's some other stuff at the bottom here which I'm a little bit worried about, so I'm just going to tidy that up by deleting anything below. I can select everything I like, and maybe I should just delete everything to make sure I've got a clean set of data. Now, what next? Well, it's important to recognize the distance between deleting stuff and filtering stuff is that stuff which is not visible at the moment is still there. You can see the stuff has been filtered by this little picture of a filter. It's like what you use in chemistry, a little funnel which you put some filter paper in. But it's not deleted. I can get it back if I just uh, click on that drop down and click select all. Everything will get selected including that double dot thing and then these data points will come back. They're not deleted but I'd rather not have them. In fact, I would quite like to delete them easily. And the easy way to do that now is just to grab these three columns copy them in the normal way. You can see the markers indicate where stuff has been missed out. Get a new sheet and paste it. And this time when it pastes it, it will only paste the stuff we selected, which was the stuff that had been filtered. So if I just tidy these up now, I can actually see that this is running in sequential order and all the points that haven't got data in have been removed. So this is now a clean data set which I would start doing some scatter graphs on. And let's do a quick scatter graph of this because it's quite easy now. If I want to do a scatter graph of those two things, I could click on insert, go to a scatter diagram. And here we are going to create uh, a scatter diagram. I don't really want that title, so I'm going to delete it. Uh, but this is going to be our scatter diagram, which we're going to compare what happens if we do this scatter diagram without cleaning up the data. This is correct. I believe it's correct. I can see some numbers in there which I'm expecting. For example, there's a, a 54 with a 0 0.5. 54 is about there, and there is a point at about 0 0.5. That's it's, it's making me believe that these points are being plotted on that scatter diagram. And let's do one other thing. We can use the correlation command. If I type equals in this blank cell, start typing corel. In Excel, you need to press tab to finish off choosing a formula, and then choose that column, 
comma that column it's going to give me the correlation coefficient between these two uh, this this bivariate data and it's about 0 0.322 so that's going to be my reference if the data is being calculated correctly I should be able to see a scatter graph like that and a correlation coefficient of about that and we're going to see what happens if I don't clean up the data and try and draw a scatter graph and do a correlation coefficient in the next videos